Welcome to Nicholas 11x12. This review has been requested by a lot of my viewers. So today I'm going to test the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 liquid cooler. Two things make this one stand out from the rest of the AIO coolers in the market. It's extremely low price of just around 68 US dollars and the fact it comes with a total of four fans to attach to the radiator. So right now I'm not sure what to expect but we'll for sure find out in this review. Thanks to Arctic for providing me this cooler and making this video possible. In the box, and wow does Arctic fit a lot in it, is the all-in-one liquid cooler itself. Not two, but a total of four 120mm fans, all the stuff to mount the cooler such as the back plate, screws, rings and so on, a bit of thermal paste is included too, and last but not least, the installation guide. The Liquid Freezer 240, as the name already suggests, is a 240mm radiator with dimensions of 272 by 120 by 38mm. I'm kinda surprised the high quality aluminum radiator is used here, it also has a nice matte black paint finish to it to add a little extra to the aesthetics. The four included fans are Arctic's fairly well built F12 120mm PWM fans. These feature an FDB bearing, spin at 500 to 1350 RPM, come in at a noise level of about 0.3 zone, sorry kinda embarrassing but I don't exactly know how many decibels that are, and airflow 74 CFM. The cables are nylon sleeved and are pretty long. That's because all four fans need to be connected to the splitter of the other fan in a row. That means all the fans result in a single connection that plugs into the motherboard's secondary CPU fan header. At least that's how Arctic wants you to plug everything in. Arctic decided to go for rubber tubing. Seems to be a pretty standard diameter though. The quality of the tubing seems to be good and they go straight into the pump unit in a 90 degree angle. Which however doesn't allow for any movement or better adjustment. The pump unit doesn't appear to be all that big and powerful, but we might get surprised by its performance we'll have to see. The design of the pump unit is kept fairly simple and I like that, but for my taste it's too glossy and rounded. But does that really matter? I don't think so. On the bottom a cold plate copper base. The pump speed is controlled by the motherboard, so you plug the cable into the CPU fan header. The Liquid Freezer 240 is compatible with the following sockets. Intel LJ 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156 and 2011 of course. AMD's AIM3+, AIM3, AIM2+, AIM2, FM2+, FM2 and last but not least FM1. In terms of aesthetics I have to say the Liquid Freezer 240 looks massive. I've never tested an AIO cooler that comes with four fans out of the box. We are basically running a push-pull configuration. I prefer to exhaust warm air out of the case, but you of course could also make the fans intake fresh air. There's nothing too special about this liquid cooler in terms of looks besides two additional fans, but what I can say is it looks decent. For the test I'll as always install the cooler onto my test bench, kindly provided by Cooler Master. The installation is easy and went hassle-free in my case, but in my opinion Arctic's mounting solution or should I say the quality of the rings and the backplate is a bit worse compared to like Corsair or Cryorg, but that does not lead to any issues. I'll be testing this unit with two fans attached to the radiator as well as with four. Now let's go ahead and stress test my overclocked Intel i7-4770K to get some temperature results. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 is a very very impressive cooling unit. Honestly at a price of only $68 I never would have expected to get such good results. This once again proves us a lesson, price does not always define quality and performance. That's a good example. For $68 it blows the majority of the competition away, competition that offers less performance overall but costs you more money. I've personally always thought of Corsair to be making one of the best AIO liquid coolers in the market. But that year came to an end it seems. The best all-in-one solutions I've tested so far are this Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 as well as Cryorx A40 Ultimate. Cryorx cooler does cost quite a lot more but is capable of offering the same performance with two fans as the Liquid Freezer with four in a push-pull configuration. I find it to be a very clever move by Arctic to include two extra fans. I haven't heard about other manufacturers doing that yet. But even with just two fans attached to the radiator it's doing an amazing job at cooling. Why am I saying that? 
that, well, in order to fit such a beast of a configuration into one system, you need to have a pretty big case. Many mid towers won't support that config. But then again, you don't have to attach all four fans just because they're included. Speaking of fans, no matter if two or all four are in operation, they remain relatively silent. Same goes for the pump, I didn't hear anything of it. The price performance ratio is phenomenal, that's the right word for it. Right now, the best AIO cooler in the market for the price. So it comes as no surprise, without any doubt, I'd definitely recommend the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 Liquid Cooler. I'm also giving it my highest award, the Gold Award. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.